one of the most lethal basketball players in the NBA. Probably one of the best shooters of all time and one of the most slept on players of all time. I'm talking about Damon Lillard. We know him from his dang time with his final shot over Paul George that just seemed almost impossible to hit and he just made it seem so easy. But also, Damon Lillard, how he's able to just be an elite basketball player. So I wanna break down four different reasons why he is who he is, dang time. You already know, man, let's get it. All right, one thing about Damon Lillard, when he has the ball in a triple threat stance, you'll notice how he gets into twitches at times, meaning his left foot is gonna be his pivot foot, so he's, he's simply twitching his right foot, really just getting the feel of his defender, seeing how he's gonna do it. And at times, you'll see him getting the twitches here, and as soon as he feels that defense relaxes or focuses too much on his feet, he'll get right into his pull-up jump shot. He'll also get into jab, and he'll start twitching as that foot is behind him. Just like a rubber band, you've gotta pull that rubber band back to explode, so he'll start to twitch here, and then he'll get into his different dribble options and his driving options. So right now, I'm gonna take you through a couple different ways of how Damon Lillard is able to get into a shot quick, fast, and in a hurry out of the twitch. I'm getting some twitches here, then I get right into it for my shot. Another reason what makes Dame Lillard just so unguardable is gonna be the way he's able to get into his shots quickly and his range. So he's getting into it quick. Some footwork where I wanna show you guys, he, he does really well is right left. So he's coming on this right wing, he's coming up for that pass. He's able to go left, right, and turn his body right into it for a shot. So if we can imagine this pass is coming, and as it's coming up, Dame's sprinting for the ball and it's right, left, and he's able to pop up straight up and down for that shot. Another set of footwork is gonna be now out of the hop. So as he's going, he'll sprint off that right foot. Now he'll land on two at the same time and be able to get into that shot. You'll see this footwork a lot too out of the dribble as he's attacking right off that ball screen. He'll dribble and then come right into the hop to get balanced. Not the fastest way to get your shot off, but one of the most balanced ways and knock the shot down. I'm gonna give you guys some examples. Short. This is downhill, waiting for that screen. He comes off, it comes right out of the hop, being able to knock it down. It's coming off that screen, he's waiting, attacking downhill, right off the hop on the opposite side. Make sure you log in and sign up for our app. We have a very new app that you're able to not only just communicate with me, but we have a daily regiment where you're able to work on your complete player game from defense to offense to IQ. And once again, you're gonna have a community of players where you're able to talk to the players and also myself as well. If you wanna see further breakdowns, make sure you download that app. You already know, let's get it. Now what we've all been waiting for, Damon Lillard's setbacks. I know we know about the classic and the balls when the ball's in his right hand, but if you really break down his game, he's able to really slow his pace and then have a quick, powerful, aggressive move for minimal amount of space into his shot. And he has a lot of different ways he'll get into it. He'll go here and go slow and it's punch. He'll get his feet down, minimal space, and get into a shot. Even when the ball's in his left hand, he'll just sell, sell that drive, get into it as well extremely quick. I've even seen different ways where he goes on his ball side foot and he goes to the left as well. Where he'll punch here, he'll punch, and being able to push back for space. He'll handle the ball here, he'll start to slow things up, then punch for minimal space, knocking down the shot. Those step backs were right out of the stationary. Also, as well, being able to get downhill. Also, for the mid range, showing off the step back as well. I think the pace really throws the guys off, not understanding when he's gonna go. Aww, get in there, girl. And we've noticed Dame time. Whenever we see it, we always think of some type of shot. He's really getting to the basket, he's able to find ways to get into his mid range 
or as we know his patent, some step back right or step back left. But also, let's take a look to notice his range. Damon Lillard's range is unbelievable. Steph Curry can shoot deep, but Damon Lillard is also able to shoot just as deep. As you saw from the All-Star game, he sh literally shot from the logo, and I believe made it one or two times, and it looked effortless. It looked like he didn't put any effort to it. It was very smooth, a very low set point, being able to knock down the shot. Damon Lillard is able to catch the ball without thinking. He knows he's in range, he's gonna let that ball fly. I think that's what's really, really hard to guard guarding a guy 30 to 35 feet away from the basket, just knowing they have the ability to let that ball fly anytime. Or if they're at the left wing and they're letting it fly, they're at the top of the key letting that ball fly, or they're at the right wing, they're able to let that ball fly as well. Be able to shoot confidently, doesn't matter what type of footwork. So number one, Damon Lillard being able to have those twitches. Him twitching his jabs or setting up that drive, having that defender overthink, that's one reason. Two is gonna be David Lillard's footwork along the perimeter, it doesn't matter. Right, left, left, right, or coming out the hop. He's able to get into it comfortably with range, being able to knock down the shot. Number three, his step backs. Man, they are crazy. Step backs, right, left, however you want it. Side step, he's able to get into it. And then of course, lastly, his range. Being able to just to shoot 35 feet with confidence, effortlessly. Damon Lillard has to be top 10 player in today's basketball right now, without a doubt. If you like today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You already know Coach Marcus Hodges, Separation Team. Let's get it.